About 800 women die every day, um, most from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. About 95% of those cases are in lower resource settings where there's not a lot of access to ultrasound. We also don't have systems that are very, very good. It means somehow the pregnancy journey may not be a very smooth one especially for mothers who have conditions, who have issues with their pregnancy. Sometimes it may mean even losing their lives. So we are working on expanding access by lowering the barrier required to operate an ultrasound device such that anyone should be able to pick up an ultrasound probe and with little to no training, less than a day of training, be able to collect clinically relevant scans. Ultrasound is available in Kenya, but not as much. There are some areas in Kenya that you don't find an ultrasound. In 2010, I had a twin pregnancy and uh, I never got to do an ultrasound throughout the pregnancy because where I was, there were no scans. The first time I saw an ultrasound, I was in college back in 2014, I would say. I didn't know what it, it was all about, eh? but then I got to see the images. We're using TensorFlow Lite a mobile library for deploying models on mobile, microcontrollers, and other edge devices to develop AI-powered ultrasound solutions that can be easily operated by healthcare workers with minimal training. The AI models, including our models to predict gestational age and fetal presentation, have the potential to expand access to ultrasound by allowing healthcare workers with no background in ultrasonography to collect clinically useful ultrasound scans. If Kenya got those artificially intelligent machines to bring a very positive impact, it will mean the work is easier, saving time too, meaning it will save more of patients time and it will bring more patients in, in the hospital. We know that with technology like this, we can change the lives of women not only in Kenya, but around the world.